been shot. You think you've been shot? Oh yeah, I've never been shot before. Yep, you've been shot. What do I do? What do I do now? Who shot you? The fucking barber! Why would the fucking barber shoot me? Maybe you've bitched too much about your haircut. Well, I didn't even get it done yet, do I? What do I do? What do I do now? Normally I'd rob you and leave you here to die. But I'm trying something new today. You owe me half a mil. Bulldog, I don't have time for this. The guy you sent me to doesn't have half a mil. I was looking to get that truck off of him. He doesn't even have a pot of pissing or a window to throw it out of. So you know what that means? You owe me half a mil. That is a nice rug. What are you doing with it? Uh, I'm taking it to Antiques Roadshow to get some money for it. What's Antiques Roadshow? You don't know what Antiques Roadshow is? Uh, well, Antiques Roadshow is this TV show where a bunch of people take their shit to these old people who know about this shit to see if the shit's worth money. You watch those kind of shows? Tristan made me watch it. How is your life partner or boyfriend or whatever? He's not my boyfriend. Why does everybody think I'm gay? Because he's gay. Well, he wasn't with me. I'm not gay. He's gay though, you, you know that, right? You know, come to think of it, he did want to watch my movies a lot. Your movies? Yeah, I was, uh, I was in porno. Main Vein Kane McBain. No shit. Yeah. Yeah, he would always rewind the money shot, and then for days afterwards, he wouldn't stop talking about my semen volume. Wow. Wow. Do you really think so, huh? Baby, they ain't never seen the likes of me. Baby, do you even call me that in a while? When's the last time? The last time I'm thinking what you think. A little restaurant named Clancy's. Had <laughs> a jazz band playing and overpriced cocktails. Shit you ever remember now. Paid the bill, hit that alley up, run to the parking lot. Never felt so good staring at a bag of garbage. Damn, those were fun times. Fun times. Before Grant. Hmm. Before Grant. We're a safe house, man. You really gonna bail, man? I wasn't screwed on right. Had too many close calls lately. Just got a little freaked. A little freaked, huh? Cloudy judgment is offside. Really? Can't run a ship with a man's head in the fog, bro. Smooth sailing now. Don't you ever get worried that some good looking guy is gonna come in and sweep her off her feet? Well, uh. I think if you're trying to impress a woman, you don't start off by telling her all your problems. So you're not worried then? No, Carver, I'm not worried. Angry? <laughs> Why would I be angry? Because a lot of people pay to be with her. That might make some people angry. I'll clean off the table. Don't worry about it, Betty. No, I want to. You know what I think the key to a relationship is, Richard? Communication. Without communication, what do you have? Do you think you and Laura communicate? Richard? I think we do just fine. You know what else I think is important? At least I find it to be. Making your partner feel comfortable enough to communicate with you. Do you think you make Laura comfortable enough to communicate with you, Richard? What are you doing? Just trying to be a friend. Well, friend, let me communicate something with you right now. I think you should leave. We have now. We haven't even had coffee yet. Carver, it's late. We should go. Yeah, it is pretty late. We should do this again. Oh, shh. Sorry. 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 Everyone's asleep. Of course. Right. Sorry. Um, I'm Edgar. I'm here for the overnight. Sleep observation. I'm Henry. <laughs> uh. 
Tell me why you're here. I got out of bed, went to the closet, opened it up, and I, uh, well, I uh, urinated all over her clothes. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>